Hey guys, it's Krista from LCRC and today we are going to put an LCG chassis or a low center of gravity chassis onto a Traxxas two-wheel drive slash. Okay, so I just got my chassis out of the bag and I'm ready to get started, but the first thing I'm going to do is a tip that Kevin um, is teaching me about how to improve the steering rack on the LCG chassis. So the first thing I like to do where the where the steering rack pins where they locate in the in the bottom of the chassis, I like to take and I drill a four millimeter hole. I drill a four millimeter hole through each of those pin locations. And then you can see on the top side where the holes come through. Now I have to, you have to take a Dremel and I like to Dremel out that vein so that the screw sits flat. If you're not a Dremel guy or you don't like to do that kind of machining work, you don't have to, you can just run the, the head of the screw on top of the vein. But for our project, I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, well he does that. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking apart the um, slash. I'm using a brand new two-wheel drive. And the first thing I'm going to do is take off the front bumper. So the front bumper is so the front bumper is held on by all 2.5 um, millimeter screws. After I remove those six screws, then your front bumper piece is off. I'm now going to remove the skid plate. Also 2.5 on the front. And 2.0 on the rear. I'm removing the servo horn because I'm going to start loosening up my um, steering rack. When taking out the steering rack, just be careful because there's lots of little pieces as part of that. came out of the top. Okay. In order to remove the front clip, we are going to take off the bracket that was holding the front bumper. The middle one is a 2.5. And the other two are two. During this video, anytime I use the um, blue handle, that's your 2.0 and your 2.5 will be the red power gun. So now to um, separate the chassis from the bulkhead, I'll take out these two 2.5 button heads. And there's our front clip. So I'm back. Uh, I've got two four, four by 10 um, button head screws. Um, as you can see, I've trimmed out that vein on the top side, the holes go all the way through. So, so when we go to put the front rack back on, 
these two screws are gonna go right down through those steering posts and uh, really shore up our, our strength on our front end. Uh, also, something else that I like to do when you're doing this kind of work with the steering rack, five by eight by 2.5 bearings can go in the white steering rack and replace those little plastic bushings. Um, it really, when the car's new, it's not such a big deal, but as the car gets aged to it, the bearings really make the front, the steering smooth. Hope this helps. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling um, onto the LCG chassis that Kevin just gave back to us. So the first thing I'm gonna do is press those bearings into the steering rack. Just remember, if you follow the link in the description, there is a list of all the parts that we use in any one of our builds. Okay, so we've just removed those little bushings and we're replacing them with bearings. Easily just pressed in. button heads back in in those books. Okay, so now we're going to take those posts And I, I put it in the rear first, kind of slide it into its groove, and then line it up that way. I'm going to go ahead and take these the flat two fives and put them back in on this bottom plate. I just want to give you a measurement on those button head two fives that Kevin gave us. Overall length is about a 14 millimeter and those we're going to put down into the posts through the new holes in the LCG chassis that he placed for us. because I should have put our servo in first, but I think I might be able to still weasel it in, so we'll give that a try. So I'll remove the servo by pulling out the two fives. That loosened up our servo. I'm going to remove the um, receiver box lid in order to unplug the servo. These are all 2 -oh. Unplug the servo. The servo is always plugged into channel one on your receiver, on a Traxxas receiver. Some other brands receivers will say steering in that spot. 
really like a pick for getting these little plugs out. You just kind of straighten it up where it needs to go. And there's our servo. So we will feed it in from behind. And I am going to have to remove those screws in order to get that in. So one extra step, everybody does it. No big deal. I'm just going to try to loosen it up a little bit and see if we can weasel it in. Now we can just take, I think these are two fives, yep. We'll take those servo screws, their specialty servo screws, and we're going to put those back in to hold it. And again, with the white servo horn, we're going to be on those upper positions on the holes. There's multiple hole options. Just start these a little bit and then we'll tighten them up after everything's in place. of that servo we are going to have to reverse the steering but we will do that last when everything else is installed. I'm not going to actually affix the um, servo horn until we have power to the vehicle so that we can make sure the steering is, is straight and that I didn't accidentally move the servo um, during the installation process. Now, if I was smart, I should have put this wire through already. What fun is that? But not hard. Just going to pinch it right in there. Okay, now I'm going to tighten up all those screws that I loosened up to get the servo in place. chassis is looking pretty good. I'm going to wait to put the bumper on for a minute. Now we're going to get started on our rear clip, removing it from the um, stock slash. So I'm going to go ahead and take the um, skid plate off first. So we'll go back to the 2.5 and these four flathead screws. We're going to go back to this receiver box. I've got it fastened down. Now I'm going to be plugging in. So I'm going to put the steering servo into channel one, uh, white towards the TQ part of the receiver. And then channel two, which is two spots up, I'm going to place the ESC for our power, making sure it's facing the correct direction. Then I'm just going to um, wrap up our wires in there so that the box if I was going to take a little bit more time I could have made it a little bit more pretty but it's, it's fine for what we're doing make sure that that blue 
O-ring is in place and then we can drive the two O screws back down in. Now a note while I do this, these antenna wires are co coaxial. So it's very important that we keep those safe. So um, any of the new cars is gonna come with a little antenna tube. It's super important that we use the antenna tube uh, because if this wire gets damaged, basically, especially on a Traxxas, that receiver is going to be no good. So make sure you take care of that antenna tube or the antenna with your antenna tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the front bumper on now. So first piece I'm going to put on is that little holder piece. I don't know if it has an official name, but it's going to take one, two, five in the middle. And then two, two O's on either side. and you're not sure which screws go in which spot, you can always use the Traxxas Exploded View. You can just search on Google, it's, um, and I will include a copy of it on the link in the description. But the experiment, go ahead and fasten down our front bumper. going to plug in our motor. So I'm ready to start the last couple steps on the um, slash LCG chassis. So I'm going to take the um, nut off of our antenna. black pieces and this nut is going to tighten those pieces up around the tube to hold it in place. This fun little tool is included in your purchase of your brand new slash. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and have my radio. I'm going to make sure my steering trim is set to zero um, so that it is centered. I'll turn on my radio on the back and then I'm going to plug in a battery using my factory extreme mud boss battery here and turn it on. Okay, so now that it's on, I'm sure that my servo is centered going to install the front or install the servo horn onto the servo. Make sure it's centered up and then I'll just press that servo horn onto into place and then I'm going to drive in the 2-0 screw to hold it there. Okay, now I'm going to need to reverse my steering. 
because it, the, when you install that, the steering is going to be backwards. The way that you do that is you are going to sure, press down your set button until it blinks. You're going to turn your radio and press set again, and then your steering will be correct. So from on, you hold down the set button until it blinks green. You will steer either direction, doesn't matter, right or left, and then hit, hold it there, hit the set button, and it will set it to the new um, direction. Okay, so now all we're going to do is just do some cleaning up. So we have to install the Nerf bars and the battery hold down. So when I do this, I'll just go ahead and remove the old ones in order to use those screws, even though you won't be using those Nerf bars. All the new ones. It's really handy. We are going to pop those in underneath. Take our 2O and put those in from the top. And our final step is to install the battery hold down that is included. You can also use the one with the stock chassis. Make sure it's facing the correct direction. These are flathead screws that are used for this. Um, they do include them in a little bag for you. So the last piece of the puzzle is we're going to install the front of the battery hold down. I use a 5-0 to push that down into the front hole. Screw it down in. Do just make sure to turn it the correct way so that the cotter pin can go in the right direction. And make sure everything fits good, which it does. So thanks for joining us for this LCG chassis install. Um, you can find out more information on lcrcraceway.com and we will see you at the next time.